but my English is not very good looking. What's up, Twinkle Twinkles? Welcome to another episode of Chinese Gay Movie Review, and I'm Walden, and I'm Andrew, and I'm from China, and I'm not, and we watch Chinese gay movies, so you don't have to. Yes. So today, the movie we're going to talk about is a Chinese movie called Lan Yu, which literally translates to Blue Sky. It's produced back in 2001 and based off on a book again. So yeah, and this one I think is a Hong Kong film, right? It's a Hong Kong director, but all the casts are Chinese. So it's、yeah. like a combination of China and Hong Kong.、Like. And the weird thing that I discovered with this one, it, because the name translates to Blue Sky, but if you try to search like Blue Sky Chinese movie or Chinese gay movie, you will not find it. You have to look up Lan Yu. You have to look up the Chinese name. L A N Y U. Lan Yu.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lan Yu is the name of the main character. And the other guy's name is called. Oh God, I forgot the other guy's name. Big dick. I don't know. Um. <laughs> oh damn! What is that guy's name again? Oh, I'm so forgetful. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so it's a good movie. This this movie was so good, except the ending. I hated the ending. Well, I, are I we supposed to summarize the story plot in our? I I think we should, but I don't、not. think we should give away the ending totally. But I think we should we should summarize without giving away the ending. Oh, that's gonna be a little. Hard. But like, it was a very realistic depiction of our gay relationship, and I、yes. like that, and especially of that it was like. Sort of the pressures of a gay relationship. So the, it's basically it's about a、um, it's like a businessman, and he's like very you know big in society and like has a good job and all this shit. And he gets involved with a younger cute guy, and then he yeah. This whole relationship started by a sex.、Uh, it, it's like a sex trade. Because、um, Lanyu was offering his body. But did he pay him? Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, I he missed was, that. He's older and the guy's younger, but so he keeps、um, he keeps coming back to him. It's like he get like he fucks other guys, he marries a girl, he does whatever, but he just can't get this guy out of his head, and he like、yeah. keeps coming back to him. And、yeah. and the and also the guy, the the older guy who's the businessman is the actor is straight. Right, both actors. And, are straight. Yeah, they're both. But that actor particularly, he is, does such a good job, and he's so convincing, and he just is very natural, and it feels very real their relationship. Yeah. So it's around 1980s, because I guess、uh, the 1989 Beijing incident was actually mentioned in that movie. So it's like before that incident, these two people were basically like they meet each other occasionally. It was right after 1989, the Tiananmen Square incident, that they started to realize that they can never leave each other. I、uh, was thinking about your safety, whether you're okay. Like, where are you right now? Before the society reaches like the full sort of level of acceptance of queer people, there's this kind of like it's it's too crazy and too wild to imagine like queer romance that has like a happy ending. Like, it always has to end sad. There always has to be a tragedy at the end of it. That's kind of where this movie is stuck, is,、yeah. which is sad to me because it's a really beautiful depiction of a realistic relationship. But at the end, they just like tack on this tragedy that I feel like doesn't need to be there. Yeah, because we've watched so many Chinese gay movies, and this one is definitely one of the movies that I really believed their relationship. So I、yeah. believed their relationship so much. And、uh, the guy who played Lan Yu, who was the main character, like the name of this movie. So that guy, this was that guy's first movie. He really. This was her, yeah. This was his debut. Has he done、yeah. other stuff since then? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Of course. <laughs> of course. Bitch. Of course. You can、He's、find、there. him on Craigslist. <laughs> He's. He is still super、selling. popular in China. He is like super super popular in China. Okay. And he married a French girl, and I think he moved to France. Now and he's、uh, but he's still like doing business in China. Interesting. And he um, so he he was he was a college student in Beijing back then. He was like studying in the Beijing Film Academy, like one of the most famous uh movie movie uh universities in China. So it's, I think it's the most famous. And he was like a sophomore or junior. And that was his very first movie. And in the beginning, like he actually rejected 
the offer because he really didn't think that he could do a gay character, and then he ended up doing very well. Like I thought that he was gay. Yeah. <laughs> no, because for both of them, for and also the the other actor, he's played other gay roles. We've seen him in other after gay that movie. Yeah, we, we've we've seen the the older guy. We've seen him in other gay films. The acting in this movie is great. It's Whatever. So I I do. I hate the ending. The ending annoyed me You've so made much. Your point, yeah. But people are gonna hate you giving it away. <laughs> I didn't give away anything. For all you know, an asteroid hit and killed the dinosaurs. You don't know what the ending <laughs> was. I just said it was tragic. I didn't say exactly what happened. But yeah. no, but like that other than that, no no no. The the acting was fantastic. Like and actually the story up until that point I really liked. Mm -hmm. What do yeah. we rate it for the storytelling? Well I guess it's definitely um, I rate it ten actually. I think it's pretty good. I, I have to give it an, an 8 or a 9. I'll say 8, because the ending pissed me off so much. So 8. <laughs> but up until that point, it was great. Yeah. And then uh, for the cinematography, like just the quality of the film, what do we rate? The the image was a little bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> she was a little bit dark. The lighting was really... The lighting was a little bit, like, not good. I don't think so. So I guess... I'd give it a seven. Sure, it was it was good. It was good. Seven, yeah, sure. Seven. And then what about for the attractiveness of the men? I'd give a nine, eight or nine, because that guy used to be my crush. <laughs> Which one? The, the young one or the old the one? The young one. The college one. <laughs> of college course. student. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. They're they're very yes. They're very, and as I said, their chemistry is very good. Their yes. chemistry is believable. Yeah. That that's what makes it. And good, it is so. how about like how it's related to Chinese culture? How do you feel about that movie? Like, do you feel like it's a it's a very, very Chinese thing, or is like, eh, um, it can be applied to America as well? America as well? No, well, I think that it it goes deeper into it than, for instance, the Mr. and Mr. Bullshit, the other one that we talked about. The like, fans of that movie is gonna kill you, you know? Are gonna kill you. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, I think it goes a little deeper into it because it, it, it shows you the older guy that he, it shows you more of his um, pressures as a man who is like straight passing, that he can like blend in to being straight. Exactly. And That's the point that yeah, I want to make. It's his, his pressures of being an, basically of an average Chinese man, that he's like successful and he's like expected to have a wife and expected to have this and this and that. Yeah. Like... I think they do a better job of that than some of the other films that we've watched. Because yeah. like after watching so many gay movies, not only Chinese gay movies, but also a lot of like Thai gay movies or like Japanese or American gay movies, like the majority of the time, especially American TV dramas, like gay related TV dramas, you, you see so many gay characters that are so gay. Like they are actually gay and they, they give themselves away so obviously, but at the same time, there's like so many gay people in the world that you actually do not know they're gay. Like they blend in the straight world so well, like they do, ev like they basically, they're straight. Yeah, you, you can never tell that they're gay. Yeah. And what what about their story? Like not too many gay movies, not too many movies are talking about people like those. And this movie actually talks about people like those. And it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, he, he married a girl and he actually went down through that straight man path, but it didn't work, obviously. Because he, he realized that he couldn't make her happy and he couldn't make himself happy. One of the things I liked about this film is that this guy is able to blend in with society and pretend to be straight, but at the end of the day, he can't. It's like at the, his final realization is that he he is not able to do that and still be happy. And this type of people do exist all over the world around you. You have so you might have a lot of for those of people who think that you do not. For those of straight people who think that you do not have gay friends, you do, you just don't know. <laughs> I liked the fact that the story was not making the point of that he should be hiding it. It was actually kind of saying the opposite. It was saying that like, this is who he is and like, who are we to judge him for it, basically. Yes. Like we as a viewers, it was saying that like, you see that this is just natural. Like this is, you know, who we, we should not pass judgment for him just being himself. Another very interesting thing that uh, like, like I noticed was that um, it has never been made clear that these two characters' friends, whether they know their relationship. But like as viewers, you can yeah. actually tell that actually their friends 
like all of them, even including their family members, they actually know their relationship. They just choose not to say it. Like everybody knows well, it, they just don't say it. At the end, they're like, "Oh, we're gonna celebrate New Year and like come and invite your friend or whatever." Like, yeah, it's they, like it's like okay, come invite your friend, but. We know that you do not want to say that is your boyfriend, but we both everybody knows that you guys are in a relationship. Right. We just choose to cover the truth, like cover, like basically like cover everything. I'm you can definitely not. see a lot of like Chinese culture related stuff. This sort yeah. of like a uh, collectivism instead of individualism, because America really focuses on individualism, but. China focuses on collectivism, so they treat you as a group. So it's like when you're sitting with your family, it's like your whole family actually has a common sense to not hurt anyone. It's like we have to sacrifice something in order to live in a more harmonious way. So that is like that is like sort of reflected in that movie.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, another thing is about the whole like.、Um, History background back in Beijing back between like 1980 to 1990, because like 1980 to 1990 was like very very important period of time for China to develop. Because like you see this、um, 1989 political situation sort of depicted in the film, and later the guy was actually being put into prison because China was trying to get rid of bribery. So you you get to see how gay community actually works in early 1990s, like very Chinese. This film we highly recommend, right? Yes. Yeah. This one this one is is highly recommended. It's a it's a really as I said the ending is bullshit, but it's still worth watching. The movie is worth watching for the performances, for all the rest of it. Absolutely worth watching, but just the ending is will will annoy the, the shit out of you. The good thing about this movie is that.、Uh, It's available on YouTube, <laughs> so you don't have to download. You just go to YouTube, and I'm gonna put the YouTube、uh, link in the in the description、yeah. below. So if you're interested, definitely highly recommend it. So, so tune in next time for another Chinese gay film review. Yeah, don't forget to click that subscribe button, and see you next time.